For decades, the laws of physics have defined the limits of semiconductor technology. Every nanometer pushed, every transistor miniaturized was a testament to human ingenuity against fundamental barriers. We thought we knew the ultimate frontier. We thought we understood the absolute edge of what was technologically possible. But what if one nation just broke it? What if they just shattered the very rules governing the microchip industry, not by inches, but by light years? A whisper has turned into a roar across the global tech landscape. China claims a one nanometer chip. If true, this isn't just an advancement. It's a technological earthquake, a redefinition of Moore's law, and a direct challenge to the very foundation of modern electronics manufacturing. But did they truly do the unthinkable? Did China's one nanometer chip just break physics? Or is this the greatest technological deception of our time? The answer will redefine the future of digital innovation. Welcome back to our channel, your essential guide to the most disruptive technologies and profound shifts in the innovation landscape. Today, we're dissecting a claim so audacious it's sending shockwave from Silicon Valley to Taipei and beyond. Reports emerged from China hinting at breakthroughs that would allow them to produce a one nanometer process node. Let that sink in, one nanometer. To put that into perspective, a single strand of DNA is about 2.5 nanometers wide. At one nanometer, you're almost talking about manipulating individual atoms. This isn't just an incremental improvement. It's a quantum leap, theoretically pushing the boundaries of silicon-based transistors to their absolute physical limits. The very laws of quantum mechanics become a massive hurdle at this scale. When you shrink components to just a few atoms, electrons can tunnel through barriers they shouldn't be able to, leading to leaks, instability, and massive power consumption. Overcoming these quantum effects requires entirely new materials, revolutionary fabrication techniques, and unprecedented control at the atomic level. This is why the global semiconductor roadmap has always viewed one nanometer as either decades away or requiring a complete paradigm shift away from traditional silicon. So, if China did achieve this, how could they possibly have done it? The global chip industry is currently reliant on extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, primarily from ASML in the Netherlands, to print features at three nanometer and beyond. China faces significant restrictions on acquiring these cutting-edge machines due to export controls aimed at limiting their advanced chip manufacturing capabilities. One theory suggests they might have achieved this through incredibly sophisticated multi-patterning techniques with older deep ultraviolet lithography tools. This involves repeatedly printing patterns to effectively create finer features, but it's incredibly complex, expensive, and generally not considered viable for mass production at such minuscule scale. Another more speculative possibility involves breakthroughs in novel material science, perhaps using 2D materials like graphene or transition metal dichalcogenides to create ultra-thin channels that mitigate quantum tunneling. Or could it be a completely unannounced, radical new form of transistor architecture or quantum computing adjacent technology that bypasses traditional scaling limits altogether. The sheer secrecy surrounding this alleged breakthrough, combined with the extreme technical hurdles, naturally fuels suspicion. Is this a true scientific marvel, a testament to unprecedented R&D investment and engineering prowess? Or is it a strategic announcement, a geopolitical statement designed to disrupt the global technology narrative and project an image of technological self-sufficiency in the face of sanctions and trade restrictions? The absence of independent, verifiable proof is key here. The implications of a genuine one nanometer chip are not just technical. They're deeply geopolitical and economic. The semiconductor supply chain is arguably the most critical and complex in the world. Dominance in advanced chip manufacturing translates directly to leadership in AI, quantum computing, military technology, telecommunications, and virtually every sector of the digital economy. If China truly possesses this capability, it would fundamentally alter the global tech balance of power. It would render many existing export controls obsolete overnight and potentially accelerate their progress in areas like hypersonic weapons, advanced surveillance systems, and next-generation supercomputing. It would mean genuine technological independence from the West, a long-stated goal of Beijing. 
This isn't just about a faster phone. It's about who controls the core building blocks of the future industrial revolution. It's about national security and economic supremacy. The stakes literally could not be higher. The current consensus among most semiconductor analysts and industry experts leans heavily towards skepticism regarding the claim of a full production-ready one nanometer chip emerging from China at this time. This skepticism stems from several plausible interpretations of the announcement. First, it could represent a laboratory breakthrough, a proof of concept achieved under highly controlled conditions, but still far removed from the immense challenges of mass producing millions of reliable chips. Achieving such a feat in a lab environment is fundamentally different from scaling it commercially. Alternatively, the announcement could be a strategic leak or part of a disinformation campaign. Such tactics, common in geopolitical technology competition, aim to create psychological pressure, sow doubt among rivals, and project an image of unstoppable technological advancement, regardless of the current practical reality. Finally, there might be a significant definitional discrepancy at play. The term one nanometer used by Chinese entities might not align precisely with the industry's standard definition of a process node. Node names at the cutting edge often function more as marketing terms than strict indicators of exact physical dimensions. It's possible China is referring to a specific feature length within a larger design, rather than claiming a fully realized one nanometer process node as understood by the global industry. The biggest hurdle for independent verification remains China's relative opacity and the lack of traditional industry channels for confirming such claims. Without independent analysis of physical chips produced in volume, any claims, no matter how sensational, remain unverified. Even if the one nanometer chip claim is pure hyperbole, it's crucial not to dismiss China's semiconductor ambitions as entirely smoke and mirrors. Their progress in areas like mature node chip manufacturing has been significant. Companies like SMIC have demonstrated capabilities at 5 nanometer, which, while not leading edge, is still highly advanced for many applications, including some AI accelerators and consumer electronics. They are pouring trillions into domestic chip production, R&D, and talent development. The long-term goal isn't just to catch up at the very bleeding edge, but to build a resilient, self-sufficient semiconductor supply chain within China. This involves everything from EDA software to wafer fabrication equipment, to advanced packaging technologies and material science. So, while the one nanometer claim may remain unproven, the underlying ambition and the undeniable, albeit slower, progress in building a domestic chip ecosystem are very real. The global semiconductor industry will never be the same. Regardless of whether that one nanometer claim holds true, the race for chip supremacy is escalating, and the stakes are higher than ever. So, what's your take on China's one nanometer chip claim? Do you believe the genuine breakthrough that breaks physics or a strategic move in the ongoing tech war? The world of advanced semiconductors is complex, and the information is often shrouded in secrecy and national interest. This is the story the tech world is buzzing about, and we're breaking it down with exclusive insights you won't find anywhere else. Let's unravel the mystery of China's one nanometer chip and why its 99.77% yield is sending shock waves across the globe. The semiconductor race is the ultimate battle for tech supremacy. From 7 nanometer chips powering your smartphone to 3 nanometer chips driving cutting edge AI, every nanometer counts. Smaller chips mean faster, more efficient devices. Think quantum level computing in your pocket. But here's the kicker shrinking chips to 1 nanometer was thought to be years away, a near impossible feat. So, how did Chinese scientists pull off a 1 nanometer chip with a mind blowing 99.77% yield? And what does this mean for the future of technology? Let's break it down. First, let's talk about what a 1 nanometer chip even means. A nanometer is a billionth of a meter. Imagine stacking a million of these chips and still not reaching the width of a human hair. At one nanometer, you're packing billions of transistors into a tiny space, unlocking insane processing power. And that 99.77% yield, that's the percentage of perfect chips coming off the production line. Most advanced chips today struggle to hit 80% yield at three nanometer. So 99.77% at one nanometer is like defying the laws of physics. 
But is this too good to be true? Keep watching because we're about to uncover the secret source behind this breakthrough. If you're as blown away as I am by this China Tech breakthrough, smash that like button, share this video with your tech-loving friends, and hit subscribe to our channel for more cutting-edge tech reveals. We're just getting started, and trust me, you don't want to miss what's next. Ring that notification bell so you never miss a tech revolution. So, what's the deal with this one nanometer chip? Let's dive into the tech. Unlike traditional silicon chips, this breakthrough reportedly uses advanced 2D materials. Think graphene or molybdenum disulfide. These materials are just one atom thick, allowing transistors to shrink to unimaginable sizes while staying ultra-efficient. This isn't just a chip. It's a leap toward next-gen computing. AI that thinks faster than humans, quantum systems that solve problems in seconds, and devices that run for weeks on a single charge. But the real jaw-dropper, that 99.77% yield. In semiconductor manufacturing, yield is everything. A high yield means fewer defects, lower costs, and faster production. At one nanometer, achieving 99.77% is like landing a rover on Mars with pinpoint accuracy. Now, here's where it gets suspenseful. How did China pull this off? Rumors are swirling about breakthroughs in extreme ultraviolet lithography techniques, possibly combined with novel fabrication methods. Some whispers even suggest AI-driven design optimization played a role, cutting trial and error time to near zero. But here's the big question. Is this one nanometer chip ready to dominate the market? Or is there a catch we're not seeing? Could global competitors like TSMC or Intel be hiding their own secret weapons? We're getting to that. So don't touch that scroll button. Let's talk about why this matters to you. A one nanometer chip with 99.77% yield could redefine the tech landscape. Imagine smartphones that process AI tasks locally without the cloud, making them faster and more secure. Picture self-driving cars with real-time decision-making that outsmarts human drivers. Or how about data centers that use a fraction of the energy slashing global carbon footprints? This chip could power the next wave of innovation, from 6G networks to brain-computer interfaces. But here's the twist. If China leads the one nanometer race, it could shift the balance of tech power. For years, the US and Taiwan have dominated semiconductors. But a Chinese breakthrough at this level? That's a wake-up call for the entire industry. But wait, there's more. A 99.77% yield means China could mass-produce these chips at a scale and cost that others can't match. That's a game-changer for everything from consumer gadgets to military tech. Could this spark a new tech cold war? Or is it a chance for global collaboration to push innovation further? The stakes are sky-high, and the tech world is watching China's next move like hawks.